3D printers have been around for several years now, but the latest versions are offering new benefits to the medical community. And Toronto's Hospital for Sick Children is leading the way using these flexible three-dimensional models to help the tiniest patients. We get more now from our health reporter, Pauline Chan. Back home, these 12 doctors from around the world are cardiac surgeons, but on this day, they are students. It's a tremendous privilege to do what we do. It's also a tremendous responsibility. Dr. Glenn Van Arsdell is teaching them some tricks of the trade using 3D model hearts to practice on. It's challenging, but it's like next level of, of training because you can train with the best and practice. You can both practice surgical strategy and surgical technique. In the old days, surgeons learned from photos, then MRI images, then 3D computer images, but they were still only two-dimensional. Hard plastic 3D models helped surgeons visualize their work, but this is the first generation of soft models that you can actually sew on. It takes about seven hours to make a model of a child's heart in layers of photopolymer resin that are about 0.3 millimeters thick. That means an astounding level of accuracy in replicating each young patient's heart. Not valve repair, but anything that has to do with reorienting arteries or making tunnels or putting in tubes or putting in patches and grafts, those things we can do. Radiologist Dr. Shi Jun Yu spearheaded the introduction of this technology to sick kids. The surgeon can have a mental design what to do, and then the next thing is that he or she can do the practice on the motor I can provide them. In addition to helping prepare for complex cases, it's an excellent teaching tool. Dr. Fred Halverson has already been sharing information with colleagues in Oslo, Norway. I've texted them pictures and videos from the course. Sick Kids has only been using the models for the most complex operations, but doctors hope more funding will allow them to use the technique more often. I think in time it will save lives. Pauline Chan, CTV News.